Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over Series 5, what we can exactly expect to see with Series 5 and what I think you guys should do before we actually get it. Now there's a lot of things that I think are going to be a little bit different about Series 5. We already know of some stuff that we have to go ahead and prepare for right now. And in case you guys didn't know, Series 5, it's not like officially revealed just yet. But I'm pretty sure it's coming out next Friday. So if they happen to reveal any sort of information about it, just know I'm recording this video Thursday morning before I even do like the signature series video. I'm pretty dang sure it's coming out next Friday. One way that I know that it's coming out next Friday is if you look over here at complete 200 daily missions, you guys can go over to the missions list over here, go to Mutt Dedication, and then all you have to do is come down to daily engagement milestones. You guys can see I've missed quite a few daily milestones, you know, some days. I just get too busy and make my videos and then I don't have time to actually do the daily stuff. Definitely make sure you guys get your dailies done because you get power passes, you get some extra power of passes. But if you guys have been doing it for every single day, you're actually getting very, very close now to getting the 96 overall power of pass. So that's how we know that Series 5 is going to be coming out very, very soon. Keep in mind, every new series, we've got a new power pass. I definitely expect us to get a new power pass here with a 96 overall power pass. So I think this is gonna be pretty dang interesting. So I do believe that Series 5 is gonna be coming out the 24th of January, be on the lookout for that. But there's a lot of stuff we need to actually go ahead and get into. First up, obviously, the number one thing I think you guys should get done if you're looking forward to the next series update is the Mutt levels. Mutt levels are so important. And if you guys don't know the fast way to actually go ahead and level up, I'll show you guys that solo challenge right now. I have been doing this for quite a while. See if we can actually find that right here, Mutt Heroes. And it is going to be under Booth Breakers, and it's the very first one. So all you guys have to do is actually throw a touchdown, and you get, I believe it's 220 XP I want to send. Fortunately, I can't go in here to uh, double check on that, but I'm pretty sure it's 220 XP that you guys get. And then you just keep hitting replay, replay, replay. And of course, you get yourself 220 XP a game, and that lets you up, basically lets you go up really, really quickly, right? That's exactly what I do. You guys already know every single series update I go through here, and I get done all my mutt levels the same day that the series update comes out. So next Friday, whenever it comes out, if we go from level 80 to level 90, then I'll go ahead and play, and I'll be level 90 on Friday, like Friday night. You guys see a video of me doing all the max mutt level rewards. Hopefully, though, the mutt level rewards are pretty good. Now, if you guys are curious as to what kind of mutt level rewards do we usually get, like maybe you just got the game, you're kind of new to this stuff, well, we don't exactly know what we can expect to see, but if we take a look at what we've gotten in the years past, what we've gotten in the series past, I can show you. So if you come over to series progression and come down to mutt level, as you guys can see, we can see exactly what rewards we got. If we come all the way down here to say level 80, I'm not actually sure if it's going to pop up or not because I, okay, yes it is. So I got the 95 overall power pass there, 40,000 coin quick sell, uh, you got a game changer pack, you tend to get a lot of player packs like this where you can buy them with coins, you can buy them with points. It's a lot of good stuff in my opinion. I think it's pretty much worth it to do. Level 75, we get a 93, 94 pass, so maybe, just maybe, if we go to level 90, maybe at level 85, we'll get an additional 95 overall power pass. And then at level 90, we can get ourselves a 96 overall power pass. That would be huge. But obviously, that's big. That saves you a lot of coins when it comes to powering up players. And also, you get a bunch of packs and some other packs you guys can buy in the store for coins or for points. Get players for cheaper. And it's just all around really good. So you want to make sure you're going to take advantage of that immediately. Now, something else I think we are going to get with the new series update. This is not confirmed, but I think we're probably going to get this. Is going to be that final gauntlet. I think we are finally going to get that final gauntlet that we need. As you guys can see here, we have got the gauntlet one, which if you get up to 150 stars, you get that gauntlet one expert token, which you guys will need that for a master set. Now, also, we've got a gauntlet two, and again, you guys will actually probably more than likely need that gauntlet two expert token. I believe we'll probably get the gauntlet three with this new series update and finally allowing us to go ahead and complete the gauntlet master set. Now, what is it going to be? Well, there's a reason why you guys can't go ahead and add your gauntlet players into their power-up sets. The reason you can't add their power-up sets or add them into the power-up sets 
is because they're waiting to drop the master set. Now, I'm going to imagine what you're gonna need to do is either add in, maybe you're gonna have to add in all the tokens and it'll give you a fantasy pack to allow you to choose any, say 95 overall player, more than likely gonna be 95s and you can power them up or maybe you'll need to add in the players that you selected. I don't think that's probably gonna be the case. More likely you're just gonna need the expert tokens, but make sure you guys get the golden one and two done, especially if you wanna get that master, the expert tokens, because you, that's exactly what you're gonna to need to go ahead and get the master set done. Now, some will say we do not know that this is going to be in the game yet, but potentially we could see a new exchange set now. So of course, the, the last one that we got was exchanging three 89 to 90s, four 91 to 92, maybe, I'm gonna say maybe because there has been series updates where we do not get a new exchange set. I think we're probably going to get one with this one though. You trade in three 91 to 92s to get a 93 to 94 overall player. Now, I'm not even sure about the pricings on that. Is it even worth it to do at this point in the game? But I just wanna let you guys know, it's very possible we do see an exchange set. Now, possibly the biggest thing that is going to be coming with the new series update, and what we already know is going to be coming with the new series update, is a Pat Tillman upgrade. Yes, we're gonna be getting a Pat Tillman upgrade. Now you may be asking yourself, well, how do I actually go ahead and get Pat Tillman upgrade? Well, last year, of course, we had Ryan Shazier, and basically what you guys had to do, they released an extra objective list that you guys had to go ahead and complete. Now, what was on that objective list included online games one, there was one hard part about that objective list though that I really hope they don't bring back this year. Uh, there were like four or five things I believe. One of them that I remember was winning games with your overall being at least a 95. So if you don't have a 95 overall team, you couldn't actually complete the objective list and get your Ryan Chase here up to a 99. So that's one thing that I hope they don't include with this because that's honestly kind of a pain. But another thing that I think you guys should definitely get done right now because we don't know exactly what it's gonna be. Maybe they don't even drop an objective list. Maybe they just drop some sort of set or something we can do to get like another collectible to add it to Pat Tillman. I know that if you guys have completed like a lot of the collectibles or you've done like a lot of the, I'm trying to think the right word here. If you've done basically a lot of the objectives, you actually should have some extra stuff here. You guys see I do have an extra 92 overall token. Uh, I have an image token, an ability token. So I have a bunch of these tokens. Maybe they make it to where you just need these tokens to add in, but I kind of doubt that they're probably going to drop something extra that you guys need to go ahead and do. But 100%, make sure that you guys have got your Pat Tillman maxed out. Like I said, this comes out next Friday. And if you go up against 99 Pat Tillman, online, which is more than likely going to be what they're going to push them up to 99, it's uh, not going to be very fun for you. It's, it's going to be a big, big difference between the 95 and the 99. And I know there's two different objective lists for Mump Master and then the Mump Master stats and people get kind of confused with. You want to complete this objective list, the Mutt Master objective list. You actually don't even need to do, I think it's the multiplayer wins and the stars here. Yeah, so the multiplayer wins and the stars for solo challenges. These are actually, like, you don't need to do both of them. You only need to do one. So you guys can get 1,500 stars in ultimate challenges, or you can get 125 multiplayer wins. You guys can see it gives you that Mump Master image, the border, the 92 overall token, and the 95. And the same thing over here with the stars. Of course, I completed them both by now, so that's kind of how I got my Pat Tillman up. And if you guys are wondering, the Mump Master stats basically just gives you extra coins. You just have to do stuff with Pat Tillman, uh, like get sacks, get solo tackles, everything like that. That's how you earn just some extra uh, coins using Pat Tillman. So 100%, that's one big thing I think you guys need to get done, especially your levels, and also Pat Tillman. Now something we already know is coming with every new series update is a bunch of new power-ups, and I think we've got a bunch of new power-ups coming. One thing I recommend you guys do, pick up players that you know you're gonna wanna power up that don't have power-ups currently. So if we take a look here, obviously, uh, if anyone has a big time card, like a new team of the week card, they're probably going to get a power up. Say Fred Warner doesn't have a power up right now. Uh, also the playoff promo. If any 95 overall players do not have any sort of power up, they're gonna get the power up more than likely. So Deshaun Watson 100% is gonna get a power up. He's 303K, please, 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 don't make this mistake, and I'm specifically telling you about Deshaun Watson because I know I've seen tweets of people saying, hey, I just picked a Deshaun Watson. Uh, when's he going to go to the power-up? Do not pick up if a player has a limited time team of the week card, okay? I have to be specific with that. Limited time cards do go into power-ups. Limited time team of the weeks do not go into power-ups. So please do not buy team of the week Deshaun Watson's hero. 
because this LTD Deshaun Watson is not going to go into his power up set. And if you just buy this card, you buy his series Redux or his team of the week, it is not, where's where this card at? It is not going to actually go into his power up system. So please, for the love of God, do not buy this not even overall Deshaun Watson. Team Week LTDs do not go into power-ups. I can't say that enough because I've already been tweeted with people saying, hey, I just picked up five Deshaun Watsons as an investment. And I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not going to work. So if there's anyone out there that you guys actually know is going to get a power-up that doesn't happen to have one already, I definitely recommend you pick up their players before their power-ups come out, especially their lower players. So Deshaun Watson... Trying to think back, I don't really think he has that high of overall card, so maybe he's not one you need to rush and go ahead to pick up. Uh, any other players you guys know of, potentially some Team of the Year guys, Marshawn Lynch potentially could get one. Keep in mind, if they don't happen to have a power up, they don't happen to have like a lower overall player, more than likely what's going to happen with Deshaun Watson, because he doesn't have like that 91, 92 overall card in between the playoffs, is he's going to end up costing a lot of training. And that, of course, does include the Team of the Year players as well. There's a lot of Team of the Year players who do not have power-ups, like Jonathan Jones does not have a power-up. A lot of the offensive linemen don't, like Braden Smith. Uh, there's also, I believe, another offensive. I think it's the center, I want to say, does not have a power-up for Team of the Year. So anyone that doesn't have a power-up that has a new high overall card, Chris Godwin, they're going to end up getting a power. By the way, Chris Godwin has an LTD Team of the Week. Do not buy that card expecting to go into the power set because that's not how it's going to work. And one of the final things I have to mention to you guys, of course, is going to be Series Reduxes, right? So anyone that got an LTD since the last Series update is more than likely going to end up getting a new series redux card which basically means they're going to go back in packs and that will definitely cause their price to go down in price so if you guys happen to have any of the new i guess ltd legend cards they're more than likely going to end up getting uh, a new series redux card so if you happen to have like the antoine randall l uh yeah he's going to end up getting a new series redux any signature series cards that we may have got uh series redux cards that we are going to get today that already came out by the time you guys have seen this video those series redux cards more than likely will also get some new cards so anyone that has if you happen to have any sort of signature series that don't have a series redux or any sort of ltd cards in general like the the zero chill khalil mac the zero chill ltd cards they're going to get series redux cards which means their prices are going to go down i 100 percent recommend that you guys sell them keep in mind next friday is when all this stuff should be coming out so i always try to tell you guys like when we get advanced when it comes to promos and stuff because at this point the market People already know about stuff. If you try to sell Khalil Mack a day before uh, he gets a Series Redux card, his price is starting to be way down. You have to sell really far in advance. So if you haven't had have any of those new LTD cards that came out during this series, 100% recommend you guys go ahead and sell them. They usually do almost all of the LTDs that came out, except for maybe ones that will come out like this upcoming week. Maybe they wait to push those out, of course, into the next series update, or even the ones that came out today, the signature series that are coming out today. Maybe they don't put them out in this series update, but definitely any ones that they came out in December or even the first week of January, I'd say will probably end up getting themselves a new series redux. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the vid and, of course, hit that sub button down below. I don't believe that I missed out on telling you guys anything about the new series update. Also, we are going to be getting new uh, alternate uniforms. So maybe we want to like get a little bit of training potentially. Maybe we see those in the store, kind of like the color rush uniforms are. So maybe we do see that. But I believe that's everything. Also, make sure get your objective list done for the trophies. I only have 672 trophies, but once the new series update comes around, that gets cut in half. And don't even try. I know people always ask me this. Can I keep the collectibles mind of mine or not quick sell them? You can, but they're going to get cut in half. So if you have a 100 series trophy quick sell, it's going to be a 50 series 5 trophy quick sell when the new series update happens. So just get as many trophies you guys possibly can. I've got 672. I definitely need to play online a little bit more and get the Coach Madden collectible done. 100% need to get that done. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the vid. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.